What is going on everyone, it's Justin here and I'm back with another set I make over and this one is gonna be the budget student edition. So as you guys might've seen in the past, we've done different types of makeovers, some of which are just going all out. They're very expensive. And even the last one was two 34 inch gaming monitors. But because it's back to school season and I know you guys love watching those videos because a lot of you are students, you might be moving out to your first place and even though school is online, I feel like now more than ever, the technology part of it is gonna be very important. We've got a monitor that is 1080p and great in colors. You've of course got some Ikea furniture with a little bit of customization, a kind of rolling case, also an LED reading light that lives on top of the monitor, a mechanical keyboard that is very economical, and also a set of speakers that are an upgrade from a laptop or computer. Even the bed itself that we chose that has like that wood finish in the back is under $100 and so is the mattress. But we've got a lot of things to cover in this video because it is not only a desk setup makeover but instead kind of like a student bedroom complete makeover. So we're gonna go ahead and cover multiple categories. If you guys would like to win a couple items from this video, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, follow me over on Instagram and leave a comment down below with your Instagram username and I'll be announcing a winner at 6,000 likes. Some of the specific giveaway rules as well as a link to all the products mentioned in this video are all gonna be down below. Hi, my name's Dylan. Um, I'm a photographer and computer scientist from Victoria. Uh, I moved into this place about two months ago. My buddy Massimo offered me a place to stay for the summer. All right, this is my desk. I got off of Facebook for free. This nice lady uh, told us if we can take it out of her house and we can have it for free. Yeah, it's a bit crowded. I've got two monitors. I've got my photography gear kind of thrown everywhere. Over here is my classic gym mat you see in your, your high school. The ones that you used to uh, in PE class. My uh, nice pillow with coffee stain on it. Yeah, a bed would be nice, not sleeping on this piece of crap. <laughs> so the first step as usual is to clear up the space and just clean it up, get rid of some of the stuff that you don't need or just set it aside. And in this situation, we are gonna be putting a lot of the stuff back on Facebook Marketplace, such as the desk and the old monitor. We also can't forget the mat and stuff because in order to make room for the actual bed, we've got to get this stuff out of the way as well. So after some of the main stuff was cleared out, it was time to take apart the desk and all we had to do for that is just lift it up and get it out of the room. The next step is to paint the room and in this case the wall had a bit of a weird texture to it which we weren't going to patch but the paint color in general was just a bit strange. It was like a white with a pink tint and the baseboard and trims were all pink as well including the door. So because this was a basement room and it definitely wasn't the brightest scenario, I figured that we may as well just go with a dark look for one wall and just roll with it and the rest of the walls go with the Chantilly Lace which is the brightest white you can get. So when it comes to furniture, if you're trying to save money, the easiest option is to go with Ikea. Hands down, the options that you have in terms of color, the different sizes, and the quality to price ratio, you're not gonna beat Ikea. So the combination of desks for this setup was a little bit different. I know everyone's done like the Linman and Adil setup many different times, and although that is the cheapest option and you can get the legs for like $5 a piece, I decided to try something a little bit different. So for the top, it only made sense to go with the Ikea Linman if you wanted the white look. And this right here is super cheap. You can find it for like $10 to $20 in a lot of cases. But for the legs, we actually went with a dining table, which is coming from the Kuhleberg. This just has like a nice industrial black metal look. And you can either use a table that is built into it, which is the wood look. But if you want to go with a white desk, the way we did it was just went ahead and screwed it using some 90 degree brackets and some holes into the metal. Once a few coats of paint have been added to the wall, it is pretty much ready to go and we gotta start moving some of the furniture in. But if you guys have noticed in the past setup makeovers, I've been using a very similar color palette, whether it is like a chalk color or the dark gray and white. So if there's any favorite colors that you guys can recommend, please leave them down in the comment section below. We also changed the light bulbs from 2700 to 4000 Kelvin, which gives it a better, cooler tone that goes with the gray and white. So as I mentioned, beyond the desk, we're also going to be adding a bed to this room because there wasn't one previously. If you're living in a dorm and don't want to spend too much money on a bed or furnishing the entire place, then this right here is the Zynus Sonoma bed that I picked up for just about 100 bucks, and I find that it goes on sale quite often. 
Zionus also makes a mattress that comes in at a similar price point, so you can kind of just purchase the pair and for under $200, you have an entire bed set. For the price of the bed frame, you're obviously not going to get anything crazy, but I feel like this wood look actually goes very well with the floors and it just gives it a little bit of life because, as usual, the rest of my setups are pretty much monochrome. After having all the slats connected and the metal pieces joined, it was time to go ahead and put the slats before laying on the mattress. As you can probably tell, the mattress is like a very similar structure to one that you would find in a mattress store. It probably isn't the most comfortable out there, but definitely an improvement from what he had before. Once that has all been set up with the blue blanket and everything, I feel like it does give it a nice contrasting look that also matches the dark grey. So now it is time to move in this custom desk that I put together and as you can see it looks great. We totally could have gone with the wood top as well but I feel like with the floors and with the bed frame it is just too much wood and I personally just like the color white for desks. The monitor for the setup is the BenQ 27 inch 1080p IPS display and the model number is the GW2780 and this one right here is a pretty good price point but BenQ has great colors. And on the other side we have a drawer unit from the company Uplift. It is made out of metal, has three different compartments and a locking drawer and it just looks really nice and almost reminds you of a locker. Dylan didn't really have any storage aside from some cabinets before and as someone who has like a lot of little accessories or robots that he's building as well as camera pieces everywhere around the room then I feel like this drawer unit right here is a great solution to solve that problem. The speakers for this setup are ones that are just very economical. You can definitely get something much nicer, but in this case, we just needed an improvement from the computer speakers, and this right here is the Logitech Z130. It is about 5 watts per side, so it's definitely not going to like shake the room or anything, but it's going to be a decent improvement, and Logitech for the price is a company that you just can't go wrong with. The last thing that we also added is a Chotec wireless charger and although this is not the cheapest one out there you can definitely find cheaper. This right here is able to hold two devices so if you have like a set of airpods or something that you can charge it on one side. Because this is a basement suite we also had to keep lighting in mind and even though this wall was painted in a dark finish to give it a bit of a mood as opposed to trying to make a room that is not exactly bright look bright having a reading light is very handy and this one right here is actually very cheap. What I like about this USB is that you can't just plug it into your computer or monitor if it has one you don't have to plug it into the wall or anything and it actually does get quite bright it's very easily adjustable and you also have the option to adjust temperature and the brightness as you guys can probably see i've been adding some more decor and books lately so we put a stack and also added a candle that i picked up from bed bath and beyond because the setup looks so bland i also decided to add a gold alarm clock so before we move on to the next product, I want to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Private Internet Access. They are a VPN and by using the secure VPN tunnel, all of your IP addresses are hidden and your data is protected. It is available on all platforms including Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS as well as many others and there's also a strict no log policy in place. Some of the examples of use include unblocking content from streaming services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu and many more. Concealing digital footprint from hiding IP address, and in general just for geo-restricted content, say you're going to another country for school or something, or in a year like last year where I was traveling a lot, then a VPN can really come in handy. If you guys want to check them out for yourself, I'm going to drop a link down below, and with the two-year offer you have three months free, and the price comes down to just $2.59 a month. For this BenQ monitor, I would say the best price to size ratio is going to be the 24 inch model. You're going to get the best bang for buck for that size. It is an IPS panel and has 170 degrees of viewing angle and as you can see just from filming here it is able to retain its color quite nicely at different angles. I also love that despite its price it is still quite stylish with a slim base and the bezels are really small. Obviously for the price it's not like a reference monitor or anything, but I would say the screen quality is great, the contrast is there, and if you're just looking for a good display that you can even color edit on, then this is a good option to go with for the price. Most of the time it is really hard to find a keyboard combo that has both mechanical features and even RGB at a good price point, but in this case we found one from a company called Havit that comes in at a price of just about $40. I feel like this one suits the setup quite nicely and I was definitely skeptical because of the features it was promising for its price but I can tell you it gets the job done. For the chair, because this is a student setup and we're trying to keep the cost down, we just went ahead and put a plastic one there that looked good but in the future he can go ahead and swap it out. This is one that is kindly donated from our podcast set that my co-host said we should never use again. 
So as you guys can probably see, even though we kept things very simple because for students it is just down to the essentials, it looks great and it has both the mix of contrast and personality to it here and there. Because we really wanted to keep budget in mind, we definitely didn't go with anything that was like too high end or unneeded, but from the clock to the basic speakers, the LED light, even the mechanical keyboard which usually is quite expensive. I feel like everything does come together quite nicely for the stereotypical desk setup for a student, including the bed and the wood design. So now that we've completed the entire setup from like the tech and the furniture side of things, I feel like this is one where we definitely went beyond the desk. And if you guys wanna see more videos where we kind of redo the entire bedroom, make sure you let me know, but let's go ahead and roll the B-roll and get Dylan's reaction. The, the new bed setup has definitely helped me with my sleeping habits as when I was on the floor. I definitely wasn't getting the same amount of sleep as I am now. Uh, it's a lot comfier. It's nice being off the ground. I'm not getting all the, the dust and having a hard time breathing. Uh, the new desk has definitely increased my productivity in my photo editing and coding and just work in general. And my workflow has been a lot better. Justin wouldn't say so, but I think my workflow has definitely increased. Sure, yeah, the contrast in the, the paint has definitely helped with uh, color correction in my photos, and the light bar definitely helps for readjusting my eyes to the light around here. The keyboard just feels really nice and just has a general good look and feel to it, so it's very easy to get a lot of work done with it. So there you have it, Dylan has a new desk setup that is a huge improvement from what he had before both in terms of color and functionality and also most importantly he also has a bed to sleep on instead of using the floor. I feel like the room that we were working with is like the average size of a student dorm room. It definitely isn't the biggest, but with a twin size bed on the side, you still have plenty of room for a nice desk setup. And I feel like for any student, you're either out and about uh, on a regular year on the campus or you're at home working at your desk, whether it's gaming or homework. Of course, we couldn't forget about the cameras, so after that entire wall was painted, we just kind of cleaned it up a little bit, put some of the small accessories in the drawer, and kind of used the wall as an area to display and enjoy that. A lot of times, removing clutter is a good thing, but with the sill that is at the window and with plenty of space to kind of span across the room, it only made sense to do it this way. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. I definitely plan to bring this setup makeover series into the living room, and I've got a pretty crazy one coming up very soon, so stay tuned for that. And as always, all the links to the products are going to be down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. So huge thanks once again to Private Internet Access, a leading VPN provider for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are a student and are heading abroad, then this is definitely a service that can make a lot of sense.